there. I'm doing a video uh, or a painting of from a video that I seen on YouTube. Um, waterfall acrylics, Karen. She does her her pores this way. So I wanted to try it. Um, a lot of these colors are like I made up the colors. So they're um, a little bit difficult to explain how I got each color. So what I'll do is I'll do the, um, in the description below your the video, I will um, give a detailed list on uh, what colors, how I got these colors. So um, the recipe for my medium, my pouring medium would be one part paint two parts pouring medium. Um, some of the thicker paints I might have to add a little bit more but um, basically it's one to two and I will describe that in my uh, description as well. The uh, medium I'm using is uh, medium and uh, gloss varnish. It's from Curry's and it has like a, a varnish in it so I don't have to varnish at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first show you the consistency of the paints and then I'm going to add some of the coconut serum anti-break uh, coconut uh, milk anti-breakage serum serum it's got dimethicone in it creates cells so I'm just going to tip the camera a little bit so you can see and my my consistency is just like uh, warm cream or warm honey, I guess, running off the stick in a stream. And of course, you can't see it. I'll try it again. There. Okay. I will add the dimethicone to the paints and I will be right back. I'll pause it while I'm doing that. Okay, I'm back. So now I'm going to start pouring the colors in the little cups. I'm just using these tiny little cups. I'm going to fill up six of them. I'm going to put one on the side just in case I need it for the end. So basically I'll put five in different spots on the canvas. These cups aren't the greatest cups to pour from. They're getting everywhere. I might have a bit too much in there, so I'll just pour a little bit out. Okay. Then the this is blue. This is like a deep, uh, deep rich blue. And, yeah, I guess I'm going to pour it very messy. <laughs> Next one is a teal color. This is an orange 
reddish orange. Oops. Oops. What am I doing? Next is uh, Naples Yellow. It's the only one, one of the only ones that are single color. I didn't add any, like I didn't make this color up. It's just uh, Artist Loft Naples Yellow. So this one too, this is Burnt Umber from uh, Liquitex Basics. Actually, ultramarine blue, and it's it is um, Amsterdam paint. I didn't put any dimethicone in the white. Don't know if I mentioned that or not. A little bit more white. Oops. I don't think I'm going to get us every color in here because the cups are so tiny. What I'll do is I'll just drizzle the color in. It's messier, but at least I can probably get all the colors in, I hope. Oh, and I put two drops of the dimethicone in the colors. And stirred. Move one over 
over to the side and I'll move my canvas so you can see it. Okay, so what I do is, um, okay, so I've got five of them. Oh dear. Okay, looks like I need four of these. There we go. Okay, just let them sit for a little bit. It's already looking pretty cool. And I have another one on the side here just in case I need to add more paint anywhere. I don't know if there's a name for this. Um, flip cup and pole, I guess. this there's one two Oops. three. like I will need more so what I'm gonna do is it's gonna pour from the cups there's a little bit left over in them So I am going to just pour from this cup. Save a little bit of that. Oh, the cups look pretty cool. So I'm going to just move them this way and, uh, and that way a little bit, slowly. I really like what's going on here. Don't want to lose that.
already losing it. Darn. Okay, I think I need a little bit more here. More here. trying to cover up the sides without losing any more of the paint that's going on in there so I just want to move it a little bit more it's pretty awesome actually I don't even want to move it it's awesome I don't think I'm going to move it at all. I think I'm just going to let it sit there and do its thing. And I'm going to try and fill in the sides. But in the meantime, I'm going to get my heat gun out. Ourselves, but not a lot. Okay, this is going to take some time to do. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a close up. And then I'm going to fix the sides, and then uh, it will. I will let it dry, and I will show you the results once it's dry. And I don't want to lift it, so I'm going to take my camera down. Okay, I will show you a bit of a close-up. So anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you uh, when it's dry. Bye for now. Have a great day. Hi, I'm back and the painting's dry. I just wanted to show you. And also, um, it's quite shiny. I don't know if you can maybe see this. Yeah, there. So it hasn't been... Uh, there is a couple of little spots there where it's the paint's thick, but it hasn't um, It hasn't been varnished so the varnish that I put in with the pouring medium worked pretty good It's nice and uh, it's almost as if it's been varnished. So anyway, um, I'll show you a close-up of it There's a couple of spots right here where um, it looks almost like a crack. It's not bad though. It doesn't really take away anything of the painting. And maybe up here a little bit too. So I think, I think the paint was, um, could have been too thick. Um, there, I'm, I did leave a lot of paint on this canvas. I didn't pour hardly any off. So that could be the reason too. But all in all, it's pretty good.
I love it. So thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.